test flight VS-100 cleared for takeoff from London Heathrow. A Boeing Dreamliner crossing the Atlantic Ocean without a single drop of fossil fuel. Virgin Atlantic's dreamer-in-chief keen to stress the sense of history. Nobody thought it was going to be possible ever for uh, long-haul airlines to be able to fly on sustainable aviation fuels. Um, Today we hope to, hope to prove the sceptics wrong. Sustainable aviation fuel, or SAF, is fuel made from crops, waste products or cooking oil. Currently, SAF accounts for one-tenth of one percent of aviation fuel globally and is usually blended with kerosene to power jets. SAF emits the same amount of carbon, but the plants used to make it absorb carbon as they grow. Factoring in the carbon footprint of production, net emissions are reduced by up to 80%. It's going to take a while before we can get enough fuel where, where every, everybody's going to be able to fly, but you've got to start somewhere. By one estimate, if only crops were used to power air travel in 2050, then an area the size of India would be needed to grow them. We shouldn't see this little marker of, of progress or a kind of an experimental flight is a sign that we could all now fly and, and not worry about our emissions. The emissions are still there and really need attention. Unlike many other sectors, aviation emissions are still rising. Air travel is forecast to surpass pre-pandemic levels next year to break 2019's all-time record. Electric aircraft are in development too, but are a long way off for long-haul flights. Ultimately, lifting 100 tonnes off the ground requires tonnes of energy. For now at least, flying less is the only way to significantly reduce emissions when you fly. Redmond Shannon, Global News, London.